Hello, people. Happy Canada Day. How's everybody? Canada's birthdays today. And for that, I'm going to show just a few Canadian albums. Not many, just a few. I went and grabbed some out of the shelf. Just to, just to say happy birthday. And a shout out to everyone in Canada. United States. What I mean, it's our birthday, Canada's birthday, and there we go. So I'm going to show you some albums. Tom Cochran in Red Rider. 1986. And there are a couple of fair size hits on here that he did quite well with. Was the Untouchable one. And Boy Inside the Man. Off the top of my head. Could have been another one. But uh, those two. Boy Inside the Man and the Untouchable one. From 1986. Good album. Got this from Driftwood. I think Driftwood's down at Queen and Jones here in Toronto. I got a lot of albums from them years ago. I think, I think it's Jones and Queen Street. Yeah, the Arrows. But your resist doesn't tell me the year. Sometimes they don't say the year. No, it doesn't say the year. No. Oh, wait, 1985. Arrows. I don't know if they had any hits off this album. Heart of the City? I can't remember. Anyway, good band, all the Arrows. Bruce Colburn. Yep. 1979. Wow, 1979. Open it up. 1979. It's got the lyrics too. Northern Lights, Bad Lines, Flashback, Face One, Face Two. Oh, that's Side One, Side Two. Yeah, Face One. Wondering where the lines are. That's that's a fair size hit right there. Wondering where the lines are. Very good song too. 1979. Oh, Bruce boy. He's got gray hair now. <laughs> April Wine. Nineteen seventy eight. Two fair size hits off of this is uh, Rock and Roll is a Vicious Game and Roller. There might have been another one on here, but I'm not quite sure. But that's April Wine. First Glance. They're still touring and playing, as far as I understand. Brian Adams. You want it? You got it. What year is this? 1981. 40 years ago for Mr. Brian Adams. Coming home, I think, was a hit on here. Uh, what else? You want it? You got it. I'm not sure about the rest, but uh, you want it? You got it. Brian Adams. Boy, does he ever look young there, eh? I looked young 40 years ago, too. Another popular girl here. She was in Rain. The Canadian band Rain. She had a few hits off this album too, if I remember right. Uh, Take Me In Your Arms and Rock Me. Uh, Jimmy Mack. Dancing in the Street. And You Beat Me to the Punch. I think those are all hits. From 1974? 74? Charity Brown. Seventy four, seventy five, something like that. Yeah, a long time ago, people. Long time ago. Now here's one. 
The Rock Band, Brighton Rock. Sam the Record Man, yeah, downtown in Tirana. Yeah. Punch out, see right here? There's a punch key hole right there. That means out of here. Brighton Rock, $1.99. Sam was selling off a bunch of our, his albums back then. They were cheap. I was in there one day. I don't remember what I bought, but I definitely bought this one. I'm not sure if there was any hits on this. Young, Wild, and Free? Might have been that one. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is good old Canadian band. 1986. Hair band, see? Look at the hair in those guys. Bam. Long hair. Bright and rock. And it's still sealed. I haven't opened it. You want to give me 50 bucks for it? Give me 50 bucks and it's yours. Cash only. Band from Montreal as far as I know or I think it's Montreal. Is it Montreal? I hope it's Montreal. Because you know, they'll get pissed off man, for me and these guys are from Quebec. doesn't say oh well the box Canadian band closer together that was a big hit here yeah closer together closer together 1987 Canada Canadian band another big Canadian band right here Blue Rodeo, 1986 87. Heartlight Mine, Rose Colored Glasses, Outskirts, yeah, Try, Big Hit Try with the single Try. Blue Rodeo, and these guys are still playing today. Here's an odd sod, where he is. Bim! I think he had a 45 with You Can't Catch Me. That was a fair size hit. Back in, uh, what was this? Back in 75? Why doesn't it tell you the years? I think it was, I think it was 75. Because I could be wrong. But it sounds like 75, 1975, yeah. You Can't Catch Me. Waiting for you, Mama. Yeah. Miss Avon. Me and my baby. Bim. I've had this record for 45 years. I've had this record for 45 years. I bought it when it first came out. I bought a lot of these when they first came out. What am I talking about? Barney Bendall and the Legendary Hearts. Something to live for. Come back to me. Two big hits from this album. 1988. Barney Bentall and the Legendary Hearts. Something to live for. Come back to me. Oh, this this is the good album. It's still still got the cellophane on it. It's got the sticker on it. Yeah, I bought that when it first came out. Now this one I didn't buy when it first came out. Bobby Cartola. Boy, everybody in Canada knew this guy. Bobby Cartola. Manufactured in Canada by Tartan Records. 218 North Algoma Street, Port Arthur. He had, a, he had a lot of hits in Canada. He has numerous hits in Canada. You got Indian Giver on this. High Tone, Gypsy Heart. Um, what else? Hand in Hand with You. But other, oh, he had a lot of hits. This has got to be, what year is this? See, it doesn't tell you. 1962, three? I don't know. But Bobby Cartola, yeah, a lot of hits, a lot of albums. He was well known. Yeah, everybody knows Bobby Cartola here in Canada. 
Everybody knows this guy too. Burton Cummings, 1984. Heart. Love Dream. I don't know if he had any big hits from this or not. But he, 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 he does have a comic book collection, Burton Cummings, eh? Action Comics, Little Lulu, Superman. I know, I know that he has a comic book collection. He likes reading comic books. Burton Cummings, yeah. He's on YouTube, he's singing some songs, playing his piano. He's still going. Randy back and Randy all oh, Randy Backman, both Burton Cummings and Randy Backman were in the guest suit. You probably all know that. And then uh, Burton Cummings went on his own and made oh I don't know single albums, five, six, eight of them or something. He made a lot of single albums. All of them are good. Here's another. Here's one here. See Driftwood again. Driftwood Luba. She's a a great singer, 1986. Yep. Strength in numbers, how many? That's two of her hits off of this that I know for sure. Yep. This is a great album too, from 1986. Luba. Great girl, great singer. Most of you know this guy too, or this guy. This band, Lover Boy. The kid is hot tonight. Turn me loose. Yeah. What year is this? 1980. 40 years ago for this one. 40 years ago. Mike Reno. He's put on a little bit of weight in the last 40 years. Yeah. If I remember right, I saw these guys down at the waterfront here in Toronto. Some club down there four or five years ago. This one, everybody knows Gordon Lightfoot. This album's Gordon Lightfoot Summertime Dream. 1976. That's a long time ago, too. The wreck of the Edmund Fitzgeralds. Uh, this is, well, I don't know how many hits are on here, but uh, this is a good album. Gordon Lightfoot. And the last one, this just showing you some Canadian albums because it's, it's Canada's birthday today. So, you know, thinking about happy birthday to me. Guess who? Winnipeg, Canada. Win more cash than you could possibly use in a lifetime. Win big bucks. <laughs> Super bonus. Bye bye babe. Bye bye babe is on this. That was a fair size hit. Artificial paradise, dear dreamer of a good life. Get in there. So you see you take stuff out and you can never get it back. Get in there. Bye bye, babe. Follow your daughter home. Orly. Yeah, that's a good album. I guess who made a lot of great albums. I, I gotta admit, they, they have a lot of great albums. So there you go. The guess who? Big Winners. I don't know, that's the name of the album? Big Winners? I guess so. Anyway, the guess who from, uh, did I say the year? Don't tell me, it doesn't say the year, 70, 
78? I don't know. They don't, I don't know why they, they piss me off when they don't say the year. You know that? Anyway. Guess who? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Canada. From me to you. Canadians celebrate today. Happy birthday. I hope everybody has a lovely friggin' day. And stay safe.